Hello, this is Zhang Weiwei from Fudan University, China Institute in Shanghai. Although Paul Robertson never visited China, the Chinese people have a good memory of him from the moment he sang the song March On of Volunteers for an audience of 7,000 and an open council held in New York City in the year 1940, when fierce battles raging on in China against invading Japanese army which had then already occupied northern China and eastern China. Paul Robertson said, I want to finish this concert with the Chinese song, March On, a song for the struggling Chinese people. He sent it twice in Chinese. He received stormy applause from the audience. It's the first time the Chinese patriotic song, this very song, was sung in a foreign country. Madame Song Qingling, widow of Dr. Sun Yasai, the founding father of the Republic of China, was deeply moved and touched by the resonant, emotionally charged voice of Robertson, and she wrote in the disc jacket of the Psalms, from the songs immensely popular among the people, China has found a new strength against invaders, and the voice speaks for the peoples of all nations. It had become a bond uniting all people struggling for freedom. Below her comment, Robertson also wrote the following, sung by millions of Chinese, it's an unofficial national answer. It stands, I was told, for the spirit of fighting against mighty power. Ma Chang, as he predicted, was chosen to be the national anthem of the People's Republic of China in 1949. The video of Robertson singing the song is still spreading across China and Chinese media today, attracting millions of viewers and applause from the young international, from the younger internet generation. Indeed, in the world of uncertainty, as we witness today, we need to unite together for certainty and unite together against force of aggression and hegemony, keeping with the spirit of Paul Robertson. Robertson stood out as a warrior for peace and solidarity for people from China, India, and other developing countries and oppressed peoples. He upheld the fighting spirit against racism, colonialism, and Western supremacy. In the world today, the global South is moving decisively away from Western supremacy and its political narratives. It's therefore more meaningful to celebrate Paul Robertson's legacy and his link with the people from the developing world and all oppressed nations. The West doesn't have the right to commit wars, crimes, and new colonialism in the name of peace and human rights. Given the legacy of Paul Robertson, what we need to do today is to build a new international political culture, culture of peace and human rights, so that the rigid Western perception and view of human rights and Cold War mentality will be put to an end, so that countries can really work together hand in hand and finally achieve more equality, justice and peace. China and India both share the trauma of colonialism and imperialism. There are strong needs between the two peoples from the two civilizational states to embrace peace and development and prosperity and to challenge the existing Western liberal narratives and fight against new colonialism. It's crucial to promote more dialogues, communications, among different civilizations and civilizational states. The West has long pursued a strategy of divide and rule since the colonial times, but we believe in just the opposite. One message from the Chinese philosophy, that is, unite and prosper.
rather than divide and rule, and which we believe is in the interest of greater peace and prosperity of all mankind. Thank you very much. Thank you all.